So today is one of my favorite art games, and it's usually played with um, a group of people or a, a, a partners. Um, in fact, if you're if you are with somebody today, like Emily and Sophia, I know you girls are always um, partner or like work together. If you're if you're if you have a, a, a brother or sister or a parent or somebody who wants to draw with you, um, try to recruit them for this. If not. I'm gonna show you how to do this game all on your own and make a really, really cool drawing. Um, and this week I'm really excited about because the theme for this week is magical creatures and mi like mysterious, mysterious beasts. What did I call it? I think I, na I named it something different. I think I called it, uh, oh, where is it? Um, 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 um. <laughs> it's not on my page. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the week the name got lost. <laughs> mythical beasts and magical creatures week. Thank you, Scott. Mythical beasts and magical creatures week. And that, I think there's also a typo. It's a sunken treasure on there on the on ten on the ten a.m. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, ignore the sunken treasure that was last week. I think it's just a typo. Today we're doing something kind of gruesome sounding. It's called an exquisite corpse, which sounds really like creepy, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, it is like Fantastic Beasts and how to draw them. <laughs> That's totally what I should have called it, Max. You named it. <laughs> Why didn't I have you name my class for me? <laughs> um, yes, that, so that is like the theme for this week. So it's all kinds of um, like magical and mysterious beasts. And also we're going to talk a little bit about like mythology which I think is always super fun. Like there's lots of different kinds of mythology. A lot of times when we think of mythology, we think of like Greek and Roman mythology, but there's all, like all cultures have different mythologies. And so we're going to talk a little bit about those um, a little later. Oh, I see a couple more people joined us. Hi, Elise. Hi, Soren. Hi, Vienna. Hi, Victoria. Um, so just to say, sorry, sorry again, if you just joined my camera on my laptop is doing something funny. And so you can't see my face today. You just get my voice and you get my, you get my hands and my paper, which is the most important part anyways. Um, I'll have to troubleshoot this afterwards, but okay. So all the materials that you need today is loose leaf paper. So if you work in a sketchbook, I suggest you maybe take a page out because you're going to need to fold it. Hi, Lily. Hi, Heather Rose. Hi, Liliana. And I was just saying that today we're going to be playing a game. Uh, normally it's done as like an art game, um, but we're going to be playing it on our own today. However, if you have a brother and a sister, or if you work with a friend at your house and you want to play this with them, I'll show you how. So like Vienna Victoria, Emily Sophia, I know you guys always have other people that you, you, you guys always come as pairs. So if you want to play this um, as, a, like as partners, then, then that's great. So, but the very first thing we're gonna be doing with our paper is I want you to turn it vertical. So not this way, not horizontal, vertical. And you're gonna fold it the way you would fold a letter. You're gonna be folding this, this paper into three parts. So today we're gonna be doing a drawing in three parts. So all I'm doing is I'm thinking in thirds. So I'm gonna fold my paper up about a third and I just kind of like match the sides like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I fold it up a third and then that bottom part or that top part, I'll just fold it down and just like this. So now it's almost like the way you would fold a letter. So now when I open it, I should have one, two, three sections. So we're gonna be working today only in one section at a time to make a drawing that is like an insane looking creature. And some of your inspiration, I know what I do when I play this game, it's called Exquisite Corpse. And I have to actually look up the, 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 the etymology of, the, of that name. I'm not sure exactly where that name came from. It's a very gruesome name. Um, but we were sorry to entrust, but can my sister join the class too? Absolutely. The more the merrier. Absolutely, Soren. And if you have a, a partner, I'll show you how you can pass your paper to make your drawing even more interesting. If you're working on your own, it's totally cool. But if you have a partner, then it just makes it more fun. So, um, 
So we're going to be working today in three parts, and for we're going to be drawing a creature, and it's just going to be a creature from, like, from it can be any kind of mysterious creature, but it's going to have three parts. So you're going to be thinking head, body, and legs, whatever that may mean. And you can combine different animals the way, I don't know if you've ever seen like a flip book where you like, you can take different, you move different pages and you make like a, a weird mishmash of an animal. That's kind of what we're drawing today. And normally you work with a partner and how, you, how it does, how it works is like, you'll both draw a head shape and then you'll fold the paper so you can't see the head shape and you'll pass the paper to your partner and then your partner will draw the body. So they have no idea what you've drawn for the head. So unfortunately we can't do that because, um, because we're working from home, but we can still make a really funny, crazy drawing. So I want you to go ahead. So after you fold your paper into three parts, go ahead and just fold it so that all you can see is the top part. So I'll do it like this. Um, so I'm just folding it back. So I didn't fold mine perfectly, so here's my top part. So all I'm going to be working on right now is the top of my paper. So all I'm going to be doing is drawing in the head of something. And that could be an alien head, that could be a person head, that could be an animal head. I think that, um, hmm, I think I'm going to do an animal. I think maybe I'll do the head of uh, an elephant. So using your paper, in using the top, all you're going to do, and you have to, the, the trick is you have to keep that, that head shape in the top of your paper. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do an elephant. So, and if you need to look at some inspiration images and go for it, I'm a big believer in looking at pictures for inspiration. I think that that's, it can only help you as an artist. Um, we, can yes. you show me how to fold the paper again? Sure. So all I did, Soren, was I had my paper and I put it vertical, so it's up and down, and then I folded it into thirds. So I folded it a third up, and then I folded it down like this, kind of like you were folding a, um, a letter. You fold it like you fold a letter. Okay? So now that when I open it, I should have three sections. One, two, three. Got it, Soren? Yes. Okay, then I'm folding it back right now just so that the only section that I can see is the top section. And that's the section I'm drawing ahead. And it's ahead of something. It doesn't, it's totally up to you guys what you make your head, um, what, like what you do your head of. So I'm gonna do like an elephant head. And one of the cool things today about your drawings that I want you to, to focus on is texture. We haven't really talked a lot about texture in drawings, but especially for something like this, the more time you spend on giving your creature's head and body and legs some texture, the more interesting these drawings will be. So a lot of times it's just about drawing in the shapes, but today I want you to focus on trying to give your your shape and your head some texture. So for me, that means like going through and like adding in like the wrinkles in the ears because elephant skin is really wrinkly and like, and you can do that just by the types of lines you use. Like if you did like some, like a fish, a fish type shape or head, then maybe you add in those scales. If you have, um, a different kind of creature, you might want to add in the text, like a bird, you might want to add in the feathers. If you have a dragon-like creature, you might want to add in some sort of dragon scales. Nissy, I see you have a question. What's up? So it's a, it's kind of hard to hear you, Nissy, because the sound. It's hard to hear you because the sound is breaking up. But so it, it it doesn't really matter so much for the head. But all I did, I think, what you're asking is how did I fold it back? All I did was I just folded the other pieces underneath, so that the, the only part that's on the top is the head. 
okay? So I initially folded it like this. I just, I just folded it backwards like this. That's just, uh, I think that's what you're asking. If you, if that wasn't the question that you asked me, Misty. Yeah, okay, if that wasn't, if, you, if you're confused, type it in the um, comments because I'm having a little bit of a hard time. Um, she said thanks in the comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to hear you. There's something going on with your, with your audio. And I see that Megan just joined. She said, what are we doing? Megan, we're playing a game. I can slow down, Adriana. We, uh, we're playing a game, um, and it's called Exquisite Corpse. And I actually have to look up why it's called that. I should have done that before class. I can't remember. It's just a very strange name for this game that we were, that we were playing. And basically all we're doing is we're drawing a beast or a mythical or magical creature in three parts. So we folded our paper into thirds because we're going to draw a head, a body, and legs of some sort of a creature. So I fold my paper like this so that all I can see as I'm working is the head shape. So that first section, all I'm doing is I'm adding the head of some sort of creature. It can be, it could be anything. It could be an alien head. It could be an animal head. It could be a person head. It could be, you know, uh, an insect head. You could have a, a, a reptile head. It could be the head of a dragon. It could be the head of a dinosaur. It's totally, it's totally up to you guys what type of head you're doing. But the other thing that we're, we're focusing on today is adding in lots of texture to our drawing. And when I say texture, texture generally means like how things feel. But in art and drawings, there is no, like the paper is smooth. There is no real texture. So in art, texture is really the types of lines you use to imply the texture. So for me, because I'm doing an, uh, an elephant, he's got like really rough, wrinkled skin and like his trunk has these like wrinkles in it. So I'm, I'm adding in lines that imply texture. And I'm, I'm, I'm spending some time on my head. Like I'm really trying to go, go through and like, and and add in lots of details that will make this head look interesting to me. And like, and, and all of our pictures, like I said before, are gonna to be totally different because we're all drawing different creatures. So actually I'm curious what some of you are drawing. I chose to do like an animal, but maybe some of you chose to do like a person. Does anybody wanna share what they're doing? Here's Beatrice. Hi Beatrice. Oh wait, there's no sound. You have no audio. There you go. Marshmallow and a Pikachu looking body and a turtle. Oh. oh okay, but 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 uh, uh, we're, we haven't done the body yet. We're still just doing the head, okay? So go back and see if you can add some more detail. That's I love these ideas. But go back and see if you can add some more detail just to the head shape, okay? See how we're spending lots of time just on drawing the head yet. We haven't even touched the body, okay? Because there's a trick to doing the body. Uh, Vienna, Victoria, do you wanna add a background? Um, definitely, you can definitely add a background. Teresa's Sorry. doing a turkey head. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Adriana, I, I know I was, I was going a little bit fast, but it really just depends on what kind of drawing you're doing. Or what, what are you doing, Adriana? Are you doing like a, are you doing an elephant head like mine or are you doing some other form of creature? So the trick, the trick to doing this next part is everybody, everybody look up at mine for a second. So I, you saw how I had mine folded. And if you're not, oh, you're doing a wolf. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. I can't wait to see that. Um, so I've just been working on the head so far, but I am about ready to work on the body. And how I'm gonna do that, just so that my, my shapes look like, um, like, they, they, like they, they, so it's not like the head's up here and the, the body's gonna be like over to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like a pretend neck. 
So all I'm doing for this elephant, and I know this isn't, this isn't really what an elephant's neck would look like, but I'm drawing a line down here. It's coming down to the bottom. Maybe another one's coming from over here. It's behind his trunk. I can open this up just a little bit. So now, now my paper's open. And all I'm doing is I'm just bringing the line for the neck down here and here onto the next section. So watch. When I fold up my paper so that all I can see is the middle section, see how I have those two lines, those two guidelines? That's gonna tell me where to start my body. So if I do the body of a snake, then I know to start from right from these two lines. This is the part at which if you have a partner, then um, the partners, so it's kind of it's kind of tricky, but partners, you have to draw those lines in, then you fold your paper so that your partner does not didn't see what you did for a head and pass it over to them. And then they're gonna do the middle part. Okay? So it's up to you if you want to play like that. But um, it, it, this can be a really fun game because usually when we play this game, your partner has no idea what you've drawn for a head. It's like a mystery. And so the body shape that you do doesn't match at all. So we're trying to make our body shape totally be mismatched. So I know I did an elephant for a head, but maybe for the body I'll do something totally different. Maybe I'll do, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a flamingo body. So maybe this is like the curve of the flamingo's neck. And then this will be his body shape. Kind of coming down like this. And I'm only working in the middle part. And you've noticed I folded back the head so I can't see it. Oh, you've played this game? Yeah, Megan, it's, it's a fun game. So fold it back so you really can't see it. And the one, the one like rule, there are no really rules in art, but the one thing I am gonna highly suggest is that you don't open your paper to look at your whole picture until we're totally done. So try to keep it folded until, you're to until we're all totally done. And like I said before, oh, today is a lot about adding in texture. So if I'm doing a flamingo body, and I definitely want to like add in some feathers. I definitely want to try to make some, add some details to make this really look like a flamingo. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in some feather shapes. Maybe I add in some of like feather lines. I don't have to do feathers for every single, single one, but maybe just for some of them. Like this. I really like adding in texture to the drawings because it's just going to make your drawings look like that much more finished. And like I said, if you're having a hard time thinking of something, just Google some images of like animal bodies or alien bodies or um, diff just different some different shapes like. You, it, you try, try to, and remember, normally, normally when you play this, you have no idea what the head is, but you, because you're playing, if you're playing on your own, you do. So you have to kind of fool yourself into forgetting what it is you drew last. <laughs> try to trick yourself. <laughs> you've forgotten. Hypnotize yourself into forgetting what you've drawn. You know, the hardest part I think about this game is not looking until the very end at what it is that you've drawn. <laughs> I've played this game with adults and I've even played this game with like kids as young as five and, um, and it's, uh, and that is always the hardest part for everybody is <laughs> trying to not look, is <laughs> keeping yourself from looking. So texture is all about the types of lines that you draw. So it's all about like adding in small details. So like if I wanted to make the neck of this 
flamingo look furry, then I just add some zigzaggy lines to make it look like there's a little bit of hair there. Maybe I want to do the same up here. Add this. Add some. Make it look like there's a little hair. So spend some time. Don't go on to the next part yet. Don't rush through this. Take your time. Take your time adding in the detail. Take your time like really focusing on, on making the drawing something that has a lot of texture, has a lot of like character. Is that okay if I'm still on the head? Oh, totally, totally. We all work at our own pace. At pace, totally fine if you're still working on the head. Okay. Absolutely. So you notice I'm not adding in eyes or anything because I know that that was all done. This is just the body. I'm really focusing on, I guess, the the neck and the body for mine. Say that again. Can I share? Oh, totally. Absolutely. If, yeah, if anybody wants to share, absolutely. Let's see. Okay. It's, I'm trying to do a dragon head. Whoa. It totally looks like a dragon. Oh, that's amazing. The nostrils on the, that dragon are awesome. That's so cool. I love it. Ooh, Heather Rose just wrote, I think it's called an exquisite corpse because if you were an explorer and you found an animal that was three animals put together, sort of like the hoaxes <laughs> that explorers used to do where they'd say, look, a mythical creature. And it was really just a dog and a monkey skeleton stuck together. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that could have, that totally could have been it. You're worth like, um, like, a, like a, you know how a lot of, a lot of people in the 18th century, pre-TV and 19th century too, pre-TV, like would have cabinets of curiosities where they put all those uh, like weird things they find and they might, they might have like combined creatures and animals to make like weird, like mystery, gruesome mystery creatures. It's called cryptozoology. Isn't is it? that what it is called? I, I think so. Cryptozoology. I have not, I haven't even heard that phrase. Oh, here's Beatrice. Let's see Beatrice. Oh, your sound is off, Beatrice. Mine is a turtle. Oh, cute. Awesome. Connect that turtle with a neck. Beatrice, give that, give that turtle a neck that goes up to connect it to the head that you did. Okay? Awesome. So, I, like I said, I know that everybody is working at their own pace. And I know I'm going a little bit fast. But... The, la the next step, and this is like where I want you to be extra careful, is adding in the lines that are going to um, help you connect your body to your legs. So if you see here and here, I've drawn the body and there's two lines here, but I have to open my paper up. And all I'm doing, I'm not looking at the head. I'm keeping that head folded. All I'm doing is opening that paper up and drawing, coming down just a little bit onto that from that fold, just a little bit onto the bottom part. And then watch without looking at anything else, I'm just folding it back up and flipping it over. And now all I see are those two guidelines that are gonna tell me where to put my legs, the bottom part of my body. And again, if you wanna pass your paper to a of another person to do the legs. You can, you can pass your paper back to somebody else. Or if you just want to work on your own, um, you just have to, all you have to do is you have to try to hypnotize yourself into forgetting what it is you did for the body. Because for the legs, it's gonna be something totally different. I want you to, like, these are like, these are mashup animals, they're mashup creatures. 
Ooh, Max just wrote, cryptozoology is a study of and discovery of mythical creatures and cryptids. Oh, I should know this. This is so cool. Cryptozoologists try to prove the status of cryptids and whether they are real or not. That's fascinating. Now I need to like go into a, a Wikipedia rabbit hole and like research cryptids. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that after class. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to go totally some more so totally different with this. And I think I'm going to do some like tentacly shapes for my legs. Oh. Nisa is asking, do we have to draw creatures or can we draw humans too? You can totally draw humans. Great question. Humans are totally fair game to draw. You could add in like human legs or human like our body parts. Like these are these drawings are completely up to you guys. You can be as wild and crazy with them as you want. Actually, I think I'm gonna. And you notice I like I I erase a lot when I draw because I definitely like. I definitely like step back from my drawing and, and see if, if what I how I drew something is what I like. Don't be afraid to draw lightly and to erase. That's better. I like how that curls better behind the other one. I'm actually gonna fix this lump. There's a lump there. A little bit better. Okay. And like I said, today is also about like using texture. So if you like take some time and spend some time like i'm going to probably go back and add in like a ton of like um uh suction cups to these octopi tentacles squid tentacles The only trick is try not to look at your picture until the very end. Try not to open it up. Beatrice is raising her hand. Hey, what's up, Beatrice? Bring it a little closer. Cool. So try, what I want you to do now that it's open, try to connect the head to the, to the neck, like try to draw the lines up so that they all connect and the, the body to the, the legs, okay? All right. I'm really taking my time, making sure that the lines I have are the ones I like. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna add in a ton of texture. Adriana is raising her hand. What's up, Adriana? I wanted to share mine, but I'm not close to doing at all. Well, that's okay, go ahead. I drew a dragon head. Whoa, that's amazing. Wow, wow, everybody's drawing some amazing dragons. Like, I'm really impressed with all the quality of these dragon heads. That's awesome. I love, he looks like a very cool dragon. I like that, that dragon has like style. <laughs> very cool. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, if anybody else wants to share, just let us know. Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. 
Liana Heather Rose, yeah. Hi, girls. Uh. <laughs> it looks like I don't, it looks like it has the body of a penguin, maybe? Tell me what your inspiration was. <laughs> well, I'm doing a lizard head and then some sort of body and then some sort of legs. <laughs> That's awesome. I like what it came out looking like. <laughs> Ooh, I see scales. Oh, I see. Is it also like a dragon-ish head? Uh, no, hang on. Wait. Here we go. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thanks. That's better. Awesome. Whoa. Is that a human? Wait, is that? Tell me the body. Can you come a little closer? The monkey. The monk, bring it a little closer. There we go. Now I can see. Oh, I see the monkey body, the mermaid tail, and the, like the horse face. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. That's amazing. I love That's Thank so you. cool. Very cool. Well, you girls, because you finished so fast. Did, oh, I have a question for you girls. Did you do, did you each do um, your own or did you pass your papers? We did our own. Oh, cool. You have, you girls have time to do another one. You, I would, I would do one if, if you're, if you, if you think you can do it together, I would do one where you pass your paper off <laughs> and just see what happens. See what, see what comes of it. Sometimes the pictures are really neat, but you have to, when you're drawing, you have to keep it a secret from each other. What you, what you do as a head so that, so that your, your sister doesn't know. <laughs> so I'm just taking my time going through. I'm going to add in, like I said before, I'm going to add in some details. So I'm doing suction cups. All, it's all about the, it's all about the texture today. Teresa drew a turkey head, armadillo body, and pill bug legs. Oh my gosh, I, I have to see this. Can we, can we see? Will you share? <laughs> Don't see her video. Pill bug legs, that's a good one. I never would have thought to do pill bugs. That's super, super cool idea. An armadillo, that's also a good idea. Man, I'm always impressed with like what people come up with. So I'm adding in suction cups. So the, the, the thing about texture and really adding lots of detail to your drawings is that it takes a long time. Like adding texture is like a, something that that is time consuming. <laughs> so don't be afraid if it takes you a while. Here's Emily and Sophia. Yeah, let's see girls. Okay. Oh, you're um, so I have the head of a cat right. and then so far right. the body of a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And this is mine so far, but I'm not done the dragon scale. Whoa. So wait, is it the head of a unicorn, the body of like a dragon? Oh, no. The, what's the body? A worm. And then those black things are little specks of dirt. <laughs> and then the legs of a dragon and the scales. That's awesome. Very cool. Did you, you girls did your own, right? You didn't work as, you didn't work as a pair. We did our own. Okay, cool. All right. I love it. Very cool. Thanks. So, take your time, and if you if you have if you are finished and you've opened your yours up, if you want to add in a background or color color yours in, that will definitely add to your drawings. Or if you want to do another one, <laughs> go ahead and do another one. Texture, implied texture is just all about different line, line forms. So like the different types of lines you use. So if you use short little jaggedy lines, it'll look like hair. If you use circles like I'm doing, it might look like tentacles if you, <laughs> or suction cups. If you 
do smooth lines and you're blending stuff the way like you would shade something, then your shape might look smooth. So it's all about creating texture, implied texture. Max is done. Oh, let's see, Max. Hello. Uh, so we have, we actually, Des and I uh, ended up teaming up on this one. Um, so Des drew the head, I drew the body, and then Des drew the legs. Oh my God, that's amazing. Did he see your head or body? <laughs> or no. did you guys kept it secret? I, I didn't see his head. But oh, yeah. I drew that body. And then oh. he drew those legs. <laughs> I love it. I drew the head on this one. He drew the body and I drew the legs. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The head. That, that, these are so cool, guys. The shading. I love the shading that you've added. Thank you. These are, these are so cool. See, I love, I love how they come out. Yeah, bring them closer. I love how they come out when you really like, or, like, have no idea what the other person drew. That looks so rad. Very you. cool. You know you have to come up with a name for these creatures. <laughs> what, what are they? <laughs> yeah, come up with that. Yeah, they look really cool though. Very cool. Yeah. So like I said, if you have, if you finish, there's a uh, time for you to start another one or if there's time to, uh, um, or there's time to add color if you want, or you add a background or you can come up with a whole mythology about what you're, creature is maybe is your creature an alien from a different planet or is it humanoid what is it judy has her hand up hi judy so let's see can you see him oh yes oh my god so my daughter did the middle i did the top <laughs> <laughs> and she did a middle. She didn't see my top. And then I did the bottom. I oh, that's, the middle. Awesome. that's awesome. So it did great. And then here's the other one. Let's see. Uh, Snoopy <laughs> with wings and long feet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Those look great. Oh, my gosh. Thank this you. Is so funny. Great idea. Yeah. Thanks for joining today. Yeah, I love I love it when like yeah this this game only gets better when you play when you can play with another person, like we can like I said you can make it work with uh with yourself but it like you're you're kind of tr you're tricking yourself into into forgetting what you've drawn. <laughs> it's funnest with three people. Like, I agree. I had, there was this one like a class that I had in person where they assigned it to three they had like three people team up and. Well, they didn't even have three people team up. You would just have your thing and then pass it to someone else in the classroom. Yeah. There were 26 kids. And yep. by the end of it, we had like all these weird nonsense creatures. And yeah. Was when I, yeah. When I was in the classroom, that's, that's, that I agree. That's how I would do it. That is definitely the best way to play this game is, is just to like continue passing it along. <laughs> Absolutely. And you come up with like the craziest things because nobody has any idea what it is that has been drawn before them <laughs> and then you get yours back and you're like what happened <laughs> like what is this um but yeah i totally agree it's a really fun it's just a really fun, it's a collaborative drawing game which i think are always super fun here's lily yeah lily let's see um so this is mine Oh, I see a puppy dog head. Yeah, it has the dog of a. It, it has the head of a puppy. Uh huh. It has the body of a panda <laughs> and the legs of a flamingo. <laughs> I love it. You should get your sister in on the next one you draw. Yeah. <laughs> if she's not busy. That looks awesome, though. Very cool. I would have thought you would have done some duck legs or duck. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing, Lily. I like the color. Are you going to add color to the to the uh, other parts? Yeah. Awesome. Hi. Just Keenan. Oh, hi. What's up? Um. So I made a alligator head and um like 
a caveman body. It's it's in the lines. It means that he's all hairy in that. <laughs> nice texture. I see all the hair coming out. I also like that you did you uh, you did his little shadow where he's walking. <laughs> what um, I like his top hat. What's on his cheek? Oh, it's like it's like um, um, it's like uh, he he basically lives in the sewers and he has like um that it's like a it's like a special mask that um and then like every time he goes in and out it stinks a lot. Oh, cool. I feel like he should like have a cane or something or he should, he should be like, he, have an, he should have an umbrella. He should be holding an umbrella. <laughs> but I love it. You should do, do the background. If he goes into the, he goes into like the, the sewers you said? Yeah. Oh, you could, you could totally do like a sewer, like a sewer uh, drain, a, oh, what's it called? The, 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 the hole, the, the manhole cover <laughs> on the bottom of your picture. That looks awesome. Very cool. Nice texture. Nice, nice use of texture. Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. Yeah. Hey, girls. Okay. Uh, we did one together. Where'd it go? Is it? Oh, actually. No, this is mine. Okay. Give us a second. <laughs> what did you do with it? All right, uh, maybe you should come back to us when we find this thing. Oh, wait, we found it. Found it? Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, put your thing behind it. There you go. Well, bring it a little closer. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's a squid head. Um, I did I, the top and the bottom, and she did the middle. Okay, it's a squid head. What's the middle? It has wings? It has wings and little arms? What, what is it? Is it, it just weird? Like Pale something, I don't know. <laughs> so it's from your imagination. And what's the, can you hold, hold it up a little higher so I can see the bottom? Oh, and it's like horse legs. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I like that the squid head is funny. <laughs> Let's, did, you, uh, did you have one too, um, Liliana? Uh, or did you just do one? Or we're working on one where Heather is going to do the head. Oh, Heather, so sorry. Sorry, I got, I got you swapped. Sorry, sorry, girls. So, Heather, is you're working on the other one right now. Okay, cool. Thanks for sharing. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Here's oh, Gina. Oh. Hi, Gina. Um, so I'm doing something a little different. Okay, no worries. Show us. Oh, one um, dragon for the whole week. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah, it's totally. You guys are your own artists, so you do you do what works for you. Whoa! Wait, can you bring it a little closer? Oh, cool dragon head. That looks awesome. Wow, I like the fire. The breathing fire is amazing. That looks awesome. Very, I love you guys. Like that's the third cool dragon that I've seen in this class. That's so rad. Nice job. Um, if you, if you, everybody enjoys dragons, I think that we're doing a, like a dragon scratch, like scratch art thing tomorrow. So our focus tomorrow will be dragons. And I already see that some of your drawings are going to be. <laughs> Like far superior to mine because <laughs> mm. you guys know dragons you guys all have some really cool dragon drawings um very cool oh my gosh i can't wait to see what mine looks like i haven't seen it i'm gonna finish up these tentacles maybe do just a few more right here some little ones and i'm gonna go ahead and open mine up and see what what happened to it i think i'm done with that a couple more there you go. Ten. There we go. All right, I'm done with mine. So now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. <laughs> so I have the head of an elephant, the body of a flamingo, and the <laughs> the legs of a octopus. I guess <laughs> you can go back after when you're totally done. You can go back and like any lines that need to be cleaned up, like that needs to be redrawn. You can fix up. Very cool. I'm digging it. I like this. I like this. Uh, I like this creature. 
Oh, I saw that Max gave his name, the Iraq Kid of Greenway Bog. And the, wait, how do you say the next one? Something of the voided realm. How do you say the G-E-S-I-Y-C-E-R, Max? How do you pronounce that? Jesicer. Jesicer of the voided realm. That's pretty intense, that name. <laughs> I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's straight out of a sci-fi novel. Very cool. Um, Nisia, you want to share? Sure. So this is my dragon head so far. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the colors. The color really makes it pop. And this is my body. So I have a snake body. Ooh. With a fish tail. With a fish tail. Oh, cool. Very cool. Oh, I hope you add color to the rest of it. Because the head is the head right now the head pops so much that you need to add some color to the other parts. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Nice, nice job. Thank you. Teresa. Here's Anna and Victoria. Okay. Hi girls. Whoa. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the three of you are the perfect number for this game. <laughs> oh, so I Our did, mom didn't work with us. She did not. Did, did you girls do your own or did you trade? Trade. Nice. Because of the, the different drawing styles. Oh, yeah, they are. Bring, can you bring them a little closer? Awesome. All right, so I see bunnies. I see cats. Tell me, tell me the body parts. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> well, one looks like kind of like a bird with wings, and then the bottom looks like a fish, but like it's like the fish, like the bones of a fish, or is it like a bug? Yeah, it was really hard because of the the end of the body. Oh, because of where it was, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then the other one. Uh, tell me, tell me the body and the legs of that one. That's a, it's a little hard to see. Uh, the body, the body and the, the legs. It's oh, there we go. Oh, over the place that I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I see. There's wings. Very cool. And yeah, it's kind of like a checkerboard belly. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the legs? Uh, it looks like they're wings. <laughs> wing legs. Wing legs. <laughs> so there's wings on his body part and wings on his legs. So, so he just put the body and the legs for more imagination, I guess. I love it. I love it. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. They're imaginative creatures. Very cool. A nice job coloring, girls. That one is kind of funny, too. It's all mixed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. These came out so cool. Very <laughs> yeah, no problem. Good job, girls. Uh, Next up is Caden. Okay, hi, Caden. Whoa. <laughs> So we bring it a little closer. There we go. Oh, I like the texture on the bottom. Whoa, is that, it's a human, so it's a cat head. Wait, no, say it again. Cat head, human body, rattlesnake's leg. Rattlesnake tail, that's, yes. I love it. Very cool. I like that you add the human body. <laughs> <laughs> if you, because the arm because the arms are cut off if you want to like when you opened it up if you want to draw in the arms you can you know <laughs> like the arms and the hands I already did wait you gotta bring it closer because you're moving around a lot oh now I see them oh okay I see them I see them sorry I was I thought they cut off there we go I see them now draw something on the shirt what kind of shirt is the human body wearing you should give it. You should give it a design. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Kaden. No, I just gave it a design. Oh, that was super fast. <laughs> Wait, you gotta bring it closer. I can't see it. It's backwards. Oh, oh, it just says hi. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for sharing, Kaden. You're welcome. 
Here's Sophia. Hi, Sophia. I made a mermaid tail to mine. Nice. Snow. That snowman, snowman body. Snowman. I love. I love that it has a snowman body. I added more scales. I just nice. need to finish the ones on the tail. Cool. I like the spikes on the tail too. Very cool. Are you girls happy with your with your your final final monstrous creations? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Does anybody else want to share? Here's Kian. Kian. Hi. So um I made a background for my creature. Oh, awesome. Whoa, okay, I see the manhole cover. Oh my gosh. Is he in the sewer right now? Yeah, and this is a radioactive um, can. It's a, this is a can of um, radioactivity. Whoa, I feel like he needs like a cool name. This is creature. And I like the how you did the ladder that's coming down from the manhole cover. Oh, he's and very- I, I also put like octopus um, hands coming out of this Oh my gosh, I wondered, I wondered what that was. That's so creepy. Do you think there are really octopi living in the sewers? I've heard of alligator living in the sewers, but never octopi. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. Very, very cool. I feel like you have to give him a, 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 like a weird name now. <laughs> I like it. Nice drawing, really nice drawing. Um, Is Adriana. Hey, Adriana. This is mine. Ooh, dragon head. Like, and then the panda body. Panda and wow. then a Lego figure's leg. <laughs> Lego legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny. If they give you should uh, you should do the write the, the word. You know how Lego has the logo? Yeah. You, should, you should write the word Lego <laughs> somewhere on his like feet. <laughs> That's funny. I like that you went like toy with it. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Here's Lily. Hi, girls. So, this is ours. Did you guys do one together? Yes. yes. Awesome. I did the head of a lion. <laughs> did the body of a butterfly. And then I did the legs of an octopus. <laughs> and then we named it the Thai, wait, Thai, Thai book. Tibapus. Oh, nice. It's cr super weird. <laughs> I like it though. Very Thank cool. You. That head is like crazy. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. That's so cool. I'm glad you got your sister to join in. Sorry, my camera isn't working. I feel like bad that you're just looking at my picture and not my face. <laughs> um, but that looks so cool. All right, um, so we, we're, we finished a little bit early today. I know that there's probably a few people who haven't shared. Um, yeah, if you wanna do a, a last share, I guess this is a, gonna be our call for last share. So Nisi, you have your hand up? What's up? Let's see Nisi. Okay, so I colored the whole thing. Whoa, oh, that's so cool. Definitely pops with the color. Were you, what were you using? Were you using? Oh. Full on like wood pencils. They're made out of all wood. Well, nice. No, sorry. I think that's, I don't know what they're called. But uh, the boxes. No, but they're like they're like they're like colored pencils. But yeah. Like art sticks. Cool. They, they, I love it. I I love that the color really makes your picture pop. Thanks for sharing. So cool. Very cool. Is there anybody else who wants to do a final share? Hi, girls. Okay, this is the one that we did with her doing head and legs. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there is it. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, I love how the body of the, like, the, the, the tail, it, like, um, it loops. It spirals down. And those wings. Oh, so cool. Wait, what's the head? Is it a lion? Oh wait, your sound is off. 
There it is. Um, yes, yeah, so it is. It's a lion, a dragon, and a snake. Yeah, lion, dragon, snake. Whoa. What if you if you tried to squish those three words, lion, dragon, snake, into one word? I wonder what it would be called. Like ligon, ligonake, a ligonake, <laughs> a sagan, a. Uh, 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 I don't even know. Sagayan. Sagayan. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you'll have to you'll have to work on the name. <laughs> so cool. I like that drawing. I really I think that one came out really well. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Does anybody else want to share? Soren, and uh, is your sister Viona? Um, one minute. Just give me a minute. Okay. Give me a minute to do something here. Okay. Add your last, ask, add your last details, Soren, then let us know. Yeah, I haven't come up with a name for mine yet either. Oh, I have to give that one some thought. <laughs> and somebody named theirs earlier a chit Teresa, a chitinous mauler. That's like a creepy name. I don't know. For just from the the sound of the name, I don't think I'd want to encounter a chitinous mauler anytime soon. Oh, bye Liliana, bye Heather Rose. Bye. Bye, Yuki Mori. Um, oh, that's Lily. <laughs> I was like, who is Yuki Mori? Bye, Lily. <laughs> I was like, that's a, a weird name. Um, okay. I think Soren's ready. Okay, Soren, let's see. Almost ready. Give me one minute. <sighs> okay. I just have to call her the last details, and then I'll show you. All right. Hmm. Elephant, oh, that's a good one, Max. Elephant mink talk, top, mink, mink top. That's so hard to say. El yeah. Elephant mink top. Elephant mink, I can't say it. Elephant so mink. Uh, <laughs> so this is how the head of a human with a banana mouth and two monkey ears, the body of a Pikachu, and then two. <laughs> Feet shaped like king's crowns with <laughs> rocket boosters on them. Oh, so cool. I don't know what to call it because it has all these. You know, <laughs> so the wait, banana monkey. The banana monkey. Pika. Pika booster. King booster. <laughs> very cool. Very clever, Soren. Did did your sister help with you, or did she did she help with your drawing? Well, she just helped a little. That's awesome. I'm glad that she helped you with it. But she gave me the idea of the king's crown, so she just drew a line here, and I uh -huh. draw something else with the line. But then I just started drawing like this, and I got the idea of the king's crown thanks to her. <laughs> nice collaboration. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you joined our class today. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Look what I made like these. Uh, I just gave her some scraps of paper and then she just cut them. And okay. She made these, like, and then she kind of colored them. Oh, cool. Look, Barbie computers. Oh, the Barbie computers. Okay, cool. I like that you make your own toys. It's the best kind of toy. Thanks for sharing, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, last call for anybody who wants to share. Kian, you want to share your last last bit? Yeah, go ahead. So um, I put a name and and it's I, I made it kind of hard to read because um because I kind of shaded it and put like um Ooh. sewer droplets all over the words. Ooh, I can see it though. It's the alligator sewer man. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely I feel like he definitely would have a theme song I don't know I just, every time I see him he's such a character <laughs> like, he, like he, he's like a fully formed character he has like a, a theme song he has like a swagger like a special walk he does he's like he's like chilling in the sewer like I don't know I feel like the, that octopus is like his friend <laughs> very cool I love it I love that you created your own little world right there Thanks for sharing. <laughs> All right, last call. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? Laura, did you want to share or are you all good? Nope. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, you all did such a good job. I was really impressed with how creative 
your exquisite corpses were. Um, I hope you had fun. Um, and uh, be back tomorrow if you like dragons. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.